Greetings, and welcome to this final episode of Let's Play Imperium Galactica. And indeed it is the final one, as I will show you. Now, as you can see, it has been three months in-game, but I've been fighting the Dark Sun Empire, or Kingdom, rather. So, let's see what has changed. Three months, it would be... well... Star map. Let's just slow down for a bit. Three months, even at best game speed. Well, and that's really only when I was playing the other game would be uh, about one session, 20 minute session. It took me well over three hours to get to this point. Not so much because it was difficult, but because it was a slog. Anyway, <coughs> here's the colony list. I am orange, of course. We have some yellow salops and only one dark green dark slum planet and of course the uh, Ecolapse. Star map. Now, I have spent a great deal of time conquering all the dark slum planets. Uh, that was difficult. Because you know how I have been ignoring completely to build any real ground defenses in the form of fortresses of any kind? There's a good reason for that. It's just not much of a worthwhile investment, because fortresses just don't defend enough of your planet well enough against the onslaught you're gonna get from whatever opponent you're facing. However, that's never the purpose of a fortress. The purpose of a fortress is to increase the amount of uh, tanks you can actually keep on your planet. Now, I've never really bothered with that, because that would require a ridiculous amount of uh, micromanagement of all your colonies. But anyway, so I've uh, slowly conquered all this, but firstly, I've also been dealing with the Solid Empire, who have been returned to just their original planets. All the planets you see here are uh, the original Solops, so at least I think they're the original Solops. Some of them may have been colonized, and all the Moorcraft planets they uh, took over are now in the Galactic Empire hands. Because I couldn't abandon my former ally like that. Uh, the Ecolabs have been mostly useless again, throughout this entire export. I mean, at one point they even lost one of their own planets against the uh, Solops, but they did reconquer that quickly enough. So kudos to that. But for the most part they have actually just been uh, distracting the Darksland fleet for a bit. Uh, I know that they've been fighting though, because I've seen their fleets come into contact and then move apart again. So they have fought, somehow ended up in a stalemate, but anyway. So yeah, most of the Morgoth planets are now under my control. Some of them are under the control of the uh, Ecolabs. But it's fine, fine. I'm, I've got assurances from our Foreign Secretary, a, uh, Mr. Molotov who would talk to his counterpart in the Ecla uh, Republic, a, 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 a charming fellow called Ribbentrop, that our pact to divide that land between us will remain true and we will not turn on each other anytime soon. Let's see how well that holds. Now, I have had to f I've been forced to uh, actually make a few changes in the build of my army a bit, so I've added a few more heavy rocket sleds. And I've inserted some behemoths into my army composition. Uh, this is mostly just so they will last a little bit longer on the planet itself. But uh, in order to explain properly why this is such a problem Building. to invade these places, because as you will see in a moment, Darkland can make ridiculously small fortresses. This is a ridiculously small fortress. If I compare that to a human fortress... Colony. Buildings. Colony. See, that's already double the size. Buildings. And a stronghold Colony. is even bigger than that. Star map. And, uh, for the most part, all the Dark Slum planets had at least four to five... Uh, three to four to five uh, fortresses on their surface. With the appropriate amount of tanks to protect them. But anyway, we're here now. 
got the main fleet. Actually, I should probably... Ah, uh, I shouldn't, I, but I want to. Equipment. Rename these fleets. Because new fleets is just so, uh, so drab. And... The fleet one. Ah, darn it. Needs to be... Something I never fully understood about these old games, why I have such limited character space, but this will do. Alright, all the fleets are in position. And my main fleet and my Yi fleet are over the final planet, Outer Six. This is, I believe, the planet where the Dark Sun actually entered the galaxy. Though I'm not sure because I never see the map that early on, because you can't. Men, it has taken us a long time to reach this place. When we started this, all the alien races thought us finished, a relic of the past, defeated, feckless, done for. And we have shown them the error of their ways. Many of the new citizens of the Empire, now proud, serve us gladly to get us to rid us of this foreign infestation. And here we are, their final stronghold, still holding out, still unwilling to surrender. But we will force the issue. Open a channel to the Dark's land. You were never welcome in this galaxy. You don't belong here. To quote Captain Jay Sheridan, get the hell out of our galaxy. Helmsman, single the fleet. We're going in. Right, let's uh, go set our group to something useful. Uh, looks like they're damaged. That is neat. Uh, I did have to rediscover one particular thing I'd forgotten about. And that's the f that the firing range of my uh, cruisers is actually slightly f greater than that of the uh, Space Base 3s. But oh well. Let's just clear this area out. Focus on getting rid of some of these ships. Now I'm absolutely not worried about losing any ships here beyond my capital ships because well I've got a spare fleet. But I don't want to get in range of any of those big guns on the surface. Right. You still have all your guns. Let's see. Your range is here. See? Now, note this only works with the cruisers, though. The uh, flagships have a slightly longer nose and they get uh, punched in that if you try to get too close. But this is kind of the strategy I should have been using against the space bases from the start, since that does work, as far as I can remember. It's kind of silly that you can do this. A little minor oversight. All right, let's start bombing. Well, uh, 
you can tell by the way I move my fleets. I'm an admiral, no time to talk. This is war, and no trap will catch me unaware. <coughs> Maneuver right, it's okay. Launch more fighters from the bay. Kill to the stand. The full brilliance of my plan. This would, would work so much better if I'd actually had the music playing, but... Whether you're a celeb or whether you're a dark slam, I'm staying alive. Staying alive. I can feel the shields breaking and the hole shaking, but I'm staying alive. Staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Yeah, I've been meaning to try something like that the whole time through, but I never had the guts. And again, like I said, it would work better if I had the music playing because I couldn't do both uh, the rhythm in my head and push the buttons at the same time. Uh, why do these plans always work better in my head? Oh well. Alright, one more gun grenade. And I think I'm out of bombs. Uh, whoops. Now uh, you're out of bombs. Everyone is out of bombs. Alright, send in the fleet. Yay! We win. Oh, for fuck's sake. They can just build a real fleet out of nowhere. That's bullshit. Alright, if we're done with this foolishness, let's get it. I'm not attacking my own fleet, dammit. Alright. Ground attack. Ah. I should have deployed a spy satellite. Alright, well, we should have enough space down here. Let's give it a whirl. This is the Yi fleet, so I can put 10 tanks on the flank here and 10 here. Alright, behemoths in the middle. A radar car in the back. And. All right. What about now? This is just a standing army, so this has probably been here since the start of the game. At least I think it is, because otherwise that would be kind of weird. They would keep back this much reserve, considering how little forces they've had in attacking. But this is actually not so bad. I mean, it, 
This is actually a proper defense compared to what I had to face with the Solids, which uh, were still defending their colonies with light tanks. Which is just sad. Because the behemoths would just eat light tanks in three shots. Bang. Gone. Alright, I need to get rid of these ultra repair tanks because this is getting ridiculous. Fortresses over here. There's another fortress being constructed. Fortress over here, and a fortress over here. Well, at least he's not building any uh, ground uh, space projectors, uh, fusion projectors, and all that. Now the fortresses are not perfect. They do have a uh, single blind spot somewhere, but. It's so darn very, very darn difficult to get to, and you can only attack using your uh, uh, radar car, uh, your uh, not your radar cars, your uh, heavy rocket sleds. So I'm not expecting this attack force to be successful. That's why I had two fleets in orbit. But if I can take out any of the fortresses at all, that'll help. Because even if they do have any tanks left in reserve, they will not be able to deploy quite as many for the next assault. And since I probably am attacking in rapid succession... Ooh, found a blind spot. This will take a while. Can you get over there? Right, I think he can't see me behind this uh, wrecked building. Now, and that's probably why I have not been trying to do this with rocket sleds at all, because they are low fire rate and have very average damage. I mean, he, they're doing more damage to the food factory than to the fortress. Which is to be expected, but it's still kind of useless. And there goes the food factory. Oh well, that's not my problem. I really wish I could speed this up. And now the nuclear plant is getting damaged. Let's see, I'm not, I have not missed any other... F just that one and the one over here and the one being built but I can't destroy the one being built I think in any case it doesn't matter because I'm attacking so fast it will never finish in time yeah a lot of uh, battles against the other Dark Slam planets went much like this just a couple of rocket sleds against fortresses, and that's not ideal. Because these fortresses mostly uh, are capable of hitting anything that comes into range, aside from the few blind spots that are around it. But it depends a little bit on the building placement anyway, which is why you sort of, if you do go for fortresses in this game, you usually probably want to build them into your city structure. 
I'm, <clears throat> I'm going over time on this because I want to finish. All right. Let's go for that one. Now let's see if they can even get close because it is it is a little bit random if uh, you can get uh, in range. And these idiots will most likely try to shoot through other buildings to get to their target. Which would be fine, but I think they're probably getting in range. Yeah, I don't want them to destroy the colony hub. And there goes that. So we were defeated. Yay! Alright, the fleet move over here. Main fleet. Go. Yeah, your forces were too late. Now, there were slightly more tanks in the main fleet. And I should only have to defeat their... Um, the ground forces here. Go. Yep. Yeah. No ground forces left. Alright. You lot. Go for this one. And you can also come and help. And you lot, go for the other one. Uh, I'm so happy it worked out like this. I mean, it's just kind of cheaty that the enemy is able to get uh, a reinforcement like that. I mean, I get that they can create a fleet around the planet in a far distant galaxy, in a far distant part. Because that's what I did, but even so... Now these fortresses are quite tough, capable of handling heavy tanks. And because of the way they are situated, they're a bit difficult to deal with. It mostly comes down to surrounding them quickly, which is very difficult. But I have more than enough tanks, and should be doing more than enough damage. Alright, that fortress is also under attack. And I've got more spare tanks back home, so I, I'm not worried. I'm a little bit more worried about the fact that that fleet is boat on top of me again. I don't really have the reinforcements to fill that back in. So I've not needed to. I've been mostly avoiding the uh, enemy engagement, because I, I haven't needed to attack. Alright. Their pathfinding is still failing me, but it should soon be solved. And once the Darkslan are defeated, the Sullips shall probably want to surrender. Probably. Because even to this point, the Darkslan will not surrender. They still think they have the superior forces to me. Which is funny, if somewhat ridiculous. Hey, we've conquered the planet. to its side, and the galactic war that could have been is averted. One of the most chaotic and destructive periods of human history has come to an end. Humanity has once again proven its ability to survive. 
The war could have easily led to the destruction of the human race. Historians disagree about the cause of victory. Many feel a higher power led humanity in the fight to preserve all that was gained in the last millennium. Others argue only a complex machine, unswayed by doubts and fears, averted certain annihilation. Of course, androids had been banned for over 50 years before the Galactic War began. The Admiralty's official statement proclaimed a secret weapon was responsible for the victory. But the true nature of that weapon is a mystery to this day, shrouded in secrecy and sealed government files. Yay! Goodbye. And that is indeed the end. Let's go into the loading screen for a moment so I can collect my final thoughts on this. That ending sucked! Comparatively speaking. I mean, it's nice that there is an ending and... Uh, that they do reference the android and all that, but... There was never any real story conclusion to this. Not really. I mean, the story concluded ages ago. In the Dark Slan, or the Daga Slan, apparently. I don't see two A's in that, but anyway. Um, and I, I don't fully s understand what that whole ending is supposed to be about. I mean, where's the glorious celebration, the parade through the streets, the, the, the fireworks? You know? The, uh, the Return of the Jedi ending, kind of. That was uh, what I was sort of expecting, uh, something like that. Not looking at some douchebags on a parking lot. What happened to uh, us, to me? It was never explained. I do like the tease of Imperium Galactica 7 coming, but... Uh, yeah, well, they never got that far, did they? Yeah, I like the game. But it has a lot of character, and... Clearly, a lot of effort was put into it. That I can appreciate. It feels... good to play. If somewhat monotonous at the end, then... Well, it has very many exploits. But I will miss it now that it's over. <sighs> I've conquered the galaxy. What is next? Find out next time. Thank you for watching. And I'll s let the game say it one more time as I have been hearing every time I close after a session. Goodbye.